Oh, when it comes to oh, the money that's coming into HBCU, oh, that that Dion was generating. Oh, well, he gets bought out by a white college, and now they get to have that money instead of us. Right? But what is, why does that mean we have to stop working to get more yeah. black coaches in HBCUs to, to, rep, to replicate this same success? You feel me? It doesn't. You know, I like I Dr. Umar and what he be saying, but that nigga was a total fucking complete racist. You know what I mean? Like, which I, which I also agree with. I just can't be that. I, like, I agree with. I agree with that energy being out there because it needs to be balanced. Like, 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 for instance, like sometimes I'll be a lot harder on LeBron, even though I love LeBron. I'm a lot harder on him because that needs to be out there in existence to balance the dick riding of LeBron that's out there. Where you know the LeBron can do no wrong out there. So I'm like, man, that nigga, bro, that nigga was trash tonight. Absolute garbage. Niggas scored like 28 points tonight. You know, but that nigga was trash tonight. They lost, didn't they? Kobe would have scored 48, nigga. It's a win. <laughs> With a broken toe, nigga. <laughs> With a broken elbow, nigga. Shooting that bitch. With the left hand, nigga. Whatever. <laughs> Can go left and go right, nigga. But yeah, that's you see what I'm saying? Like, to balance out. Like, I don't agree with anybody being any type of racist at all whatsoever. But we do, in our black corner, need some people who are 100% unadulteratedly black it can't be me i am pro-black as much as pro-black uh permits without being a uh, racist because i don't think you know what i'm saying anybody's super, super superiority any racist superiority is the future it's not i'm a star trek fan bro like it can't be nobody's superiority as far as race because then at the end of the day because you know umar be on interracial you know the marriage shit now nah, you don't do that shit whatever I hate that shit. At the end of the day, everybody's going to have African in them no matter what. You can't breed it out of them. You can't. It's a part of basic humanity. Everybody's always going to have that 1% African. Fuck it. Right? I understand that like, as far as communities go, you want to get married to a black woman. And if you was a good black man, you can bring wealth to that black woman and her family, your extended family and shit. I get that. I get that. But nigga, every nigga marriage ain't gonna be successful, and every nigga married, every nigga ain't gonna be no money maker. Like it's be just another struggling black family. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? So she, what the fuck is it? I get with a, a, a another race person, make her kids black because they're gonna be half black. You know what I'm saying? And. and and shit, nigga. I ain't finna get my money up to her fucking family, nigga. I'm finna take what I can off her family, nigga. Fuck you got me. You got me fucked up, nigga. I'm totally okay with interracial relationship, but I fully encourage if you only like black women, marry you a black woman. That's you know what I mean? I just like everybody. That's just me. I like everybody, bro. Women are the most ugh. Women is the highest commodity on the planet. Jesus Christ. I'm not finna seclude myself to just one nigga, please. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I like I like gummy worms, uh, the 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 gummy bears. I like Hershey balls. I like nigga. I like all types of candy. I like cotton candy, nigga. I like all that shit, bro. Like you not finna limit me, nigga. You mean I gotta I gotta pick one candy for the rest of my life? No, I'm not finna do it. I like nerds, nigga. I like I like Twizzlers, nigga. Yeah, corny ass Twizzlers. Yeah, I eat the Twizzlers, man. I eat the Twizzlers, baby. Come fuck with me. I eat the Twizzler. Oh wait, no homo. That's a that's a cylindrical. Uh, I don't eat the Twizzlers like thick. It's that's cylindrical. That's why I ain't make the uh the analogy about meats. I'm like I eat the hot dog. No, 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 chill. No. <laughs> nah, but yeah, I, I saw that clip with uh. Was it Doctor? Yeah, that dude be crazy. He be snapping sometimes. Be like that. He be right. <laughs> Majority of the time. I just don't agree with the interracial thing. You feel me? Or calling anybody a multiculturalist. Nigga, what's wrong with being a multiculturalist? You fucking idiot. What the fuck? Like, that's... Like... I was like, I, I think that's great because then, then you don't end up like Angela when you go visit other countries. <laughs> Matter of fact, let me go ahead and properly criticize this nigga Umar right now because, uh, you know, there's a back and forth with... uh. Umar and, and uh, 
Shows. Shows, shows. The comedian. Andrew Shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. Shows got brilliant interviews with, with Charlemagne. Yeah, I like him. Uh, he's funny as hell. So I, I Umar like was him. on the podcast with another is a rapper dude. I forget his name. I found it on Spotify. Um and the dude Manhattan. was really no, it wasn't mad. It was somebody you don't know. It was a it was a, it's like I like I can't I'll find it for you and send it to you. But the dude was 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 irked at the fact or at the idea that Charlemagne was getting sunned by this nigga. And I won't say sunned, but just every conversation about, you know, when you know white folks gonna inquire, well, why do black people do this? Why this why is this this? Why is this this? Why do y'all complain about this? Just do this, you know? And Charlemagne tries to combat him, but he doesn't always have the proper information. You know, like a Dr. Umar, you're not finna back him into no corner. He finna fire. He finna come out. Well, the statistic, like like Kevin Samuels, what's the statistic? The statistic, the statistic, you feel me? So yeah. the dude's uh, uh, primary subject was saying that like Charlemagne is like losing these arguments and he's not properly representing us and sh and that's making shows come out of pocket. Like he he's right. He's 100 percent right. Shows like Shows be winning because Shows is a, is a real comedian. He's yeah, a he's a I real think, MC. Like so, he's savvy. He's off the cuff. You can't fuck with like, him. He's like a rapper. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what an MC means. A, a master yeah, of ceremonies, like somebody who has the gift of gab and can just talk. Like I don't necessarily have that, but I, but it's hard for you to out talk me, right? I be because mm -hmm. I be like nigga, blah 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 blah. That's how they are on ten times of a level. You feel me? So like, so like when, it, go ahead. As I said, as a comedian, he's used to just bam, bam. And Charlemagne, he's a radio host. He's used to just chill, everything slow. They're, I mean, they're one it's in the same. Time. They're one in the same because Charlemagne is a comedian. He just hasn't stretched that muscle properly. Right. He lives in the zone of radio host, but he really is a comedian, and he really do got it like that. The fact of the matter is, he just don't have the information. That can match. He doesn't have the level of information that can uh, match Andrew Schultz's curiosity. Who's going to keep at, like how I argue with uh, Kurt all the time? Kurt Knight provide no information, nigga. He just curious. Well, 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 well. I'm just asking questions. I'm just like, nigga. You ask a question about everything. Once I answer your question and you ask the same shit again in a different way, I can't. You feel me? Like I need more statistics to go off of a different angle. You know what I mean? To come at you. I ask, now, once I answer your question in five different angles and five different perspectives, then I can corner you. You feel me? But if I just give you the fact of the matter one way or two ways, the nigga going to ask again and again and again and say, see, see, you ain't got no answer for that. Bitch, I just told you. Like, but, but oh, okay. go ahead. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Because I'm going to get to my real criticism of that nigga. I'm just trying to paint the picture. Well, because, like, whenever... I feel like whenever he says that about Charlemagne, I'll be like, but it's not like he's making, he, I feel like he's trying to say Charlemagne is making black people look bad, but I'm like, bro, it's just a show. Like, no, he like it, bro. Thing. No, 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 no. This podcaster was 100% right, bro. He is making black people look bad. He is, it'd be a lot. Okay, the show is called Brilliant Idiots, right? It's yeah, yeah. dumb people talking about smart shit is the, is the, the uh, slogan, the right? The slogan, right? So, it's supposed to be just a, you know, oh, we just hanging, just chilling. But it gets into serious conversations, which has responsibility and consequences. And if you if you can't properly defend this 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 fact or this truth behind black, you know what I mean? Like then Andrew Shaw's fans, because like you know, we talking about shows who's not in the urban community like that, and we are talking about Charlemagne who is in the urban community. As a matter of fact, a face of the urban community. He's he's they're merging their their audiences, and Scholz's audience is going away with Scholz's interpretation, because Charlemagne doesn't have the information to combat it properly. You feel me? So that is dangerous. That is dangerous. Now those people who are Scholz fans may not be as level minded as Scholz, and Scholz is irresponsible for this. They may not be as level-minded as shows, and they may take these rhetorics and say, see, black folks ain't shit, this or whatever, you know what I mean? Take it to the next level. I know Charles isn't doing that, but he's... Dr. Umar does, to a certain degree, bloviate. 
to a certain degree. He does bloviate and like over invest in ideas that are not proven or aren't are unprovable. Right? Like he'll, you know, conspiracy this, conspiracy that sometimes. Which is not good for a, a stable argument going forward. You know what I mean? Like like how Dick Gregory will say some real ass shit and then in the next sentence then they gonna say there's two Trumps. There's the clone Trump, the red tie Trump and then the blue tie Trump. Like damn bro, ain't nobody gonna get like even if that shit was true, nobody's gonna believe that you can't do that shit, bro. You're discrediting whatever you just said before that and whatever you say after that shit. But well, maybe this is me overthinking it, but I was like, maybe he means like a Trump trying to play Republican and a Trump. No, to nigga, play he meant cloned. He meant actually cloned. <laughs> like he literally said clone. He said clone, bro. <laughs> This okay. ninety, this ninety year old Dick Gregory though, like you know what I'm saying, one of the greatest comedians of all time. But he got a little seat now to the point to where, cause like you know what I'm saying, when you feel, once you, once you feel you at the point of of, of full education, which there's no such thing, f your wisdom takes over, and now can't nobody tell you nothing else. And then once you start getting senile with that, all of your conjecture melds in with the things that you know as fact. And now you, oh, you know what I'm saying, like. Now it's all, all all that shit that I was thinking could be true is now true because it fits my narrative type shit. He was right about a lot of shit, just like Umar. But a lot of times, you know, Umar ain't saying I ain't saying Umar crazy. He's just racist. That's it. Which which leads to conspiracy. You believe conspiracies and shit like that. I love Umar. Don't get it twisted. And brother Umar, if you want to talk, nigga, talk to me. Nigga, I ain't got no half a million dollars for your ass and all that school. And speaking of that school, this is where, you know, he got a school getting built, right? Uh-uh. Yeah, he building the school. Uh, Damn, I forget where it is. I don't want to misquote and guess. But um, he building a school, you know, for black kids. Black only. And he's going to have every teacher appointed basically by hand teaching a, a black Curriculum, a black, you know what I mean? That type of shit. And he's been going, he's been, he's been at this shit for years, bro. Trying to get this school going for like four, or five years. He's been trying to get the school going, I believe. And uh, he finally got the building. He got the property and stuff like that. But what he was explaining was uh, the other state he was gonna get the school in. The dude practiced uh, realty racism. You know, you know, uh, real. You know, um, let me let me let me explain that realty racism. Uh, you know, property management racism. Like, if I go appraise my house, every house on the block two million dollars, right? I know my house should be worth about two million dollars. I get it appraised, the bitch say it's worth eight hundred thousand dollars. But if I go get my white friends to stand in for me and get the house appraised, that same motherfucking appraiser will appraise the house for two million dollars. Uh, yeah. You you know that that happens, right? Because I'm black, they're not gonna give me the the proper money back. That's in fact. Side note: that is the number one cause and reason for the fact that black people are behind economically the housing market. We've always had to pay more rent than white people. There's never been an opportunity to pay mortgage and get equity back. That number one. That is the number one reason for the disparity. So when we talk about reparations, I don't want to hear. There's no amount of money that you can give me. To satiate and rectify what happened, right? That's the number one cause, bro. Housing. I believe that wholeheartedly, and we can look up whatever we want to to back that up. So, when it comes to Umar, when he was trying to get this school in uh, another state, he will. He had the amount of money. He had the amount to buy it. But the dude told him that it wasn't for sale at the time, mm -hmm. although it was. Then went on to sell it to somebody else who was white. Maybe a little bit more details to it than that, but that is not right. If it was for sale, 
it's for sale. You should tell me it's for sale so I can put my money down, bro. Don't save it for somebody who's white. That's illegal. Is it though? It's private property, right? No, no. You're talking about a free market. You're talking about a free. You're talking about a free and open market. But you can sell it to whoever you want. Like, no, if you if you feed me false information, no, no, we're not talking about a private sale. This is on a on a business on a being the LLC level. It's not like just private. We're talking about properties here, bro. Like it doesn't. It's not like a Walmart where you just buy a prop. No, nigga, this is you see what I'm talking. We talking about land and shit, bro. This is constitutional shit. Like this is not buying something from Walmart where they can refuse your service. Right, but I, I thought if you give it, just like I said, just like I said, it's illegal. To um, it's not directly illegal. That's why Trump. Okay, this is why Trump got away for appraising his his dad's house for ten percent of what it was. So they can only pay the ten percent taxes, right? That's less illegal than not paying the tax. You feel me? Yeah. So instead of not paying the three hundred million dollars because my dad died on his property, let me get the property appraised. For ten percent of what it's actually worth, and then I'll pay the taxes on that, because getting a false appraisal is less time than not paying the tax at all. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So this is the same. That. These are the same type of things we're talking about here. You can't fuck me out of property and say and lie and say that it's not. You're practicing a uh, racist business. You're practicing like if you can, even when it comes to um, um. I have the right to refuse service. If you're refusing service to only black people, that's still illegal. That that can, it's not like oh you're going to jail for 20 years. It's better business bureau has to step in and then you know what I mean all that type of shit. Right, but I don't think they can close you down because no, you just get a fine. You'll just get a fine. That's what I'm saying. You feel me? It's it, that, like getting something falsely appraised. You have to pay a fine or some shit like that, and nobody's gonna ever prove it. If you don't pay the tax properly, you're going to jail, like Wesley Snipes. You feel? You see the difference? That's why it's always. That's why it's practiced that way, and it's because people can get away with it. It is illegal. You can't do that. My my dad. We kind of talk about that. How that kind of happens in construction. And here's our like. They need to have like. 40 percent green like trees grass is like but they can pay a couple thousand and only have 20 percent and that's it i mean same 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 type of degree you know what i'm saying of shit but now you're talking about people like nobody's gonna sue you over the goddamn trees like you're talking about people and livelihoods here like just like if i can't get the, a job over here because and i can prove that they're not hiring black people it's the same thing but that I mean, not, not saying that it doesn't. Ah, well, because at the end of the day, that shit does though cause lives. <laughs> if they reduce the type of greenery. No, bro. Greenery, no, bro. That's not. In, no, no. That's not infringing upon somebody's inherent right to be a human. If you're not hiring me because I'm black, that's fucked up. If you want to cut down a bunch of trees, that's that's not fucked up for just one demographic. That's fucked up for all humans. You feel me? Yeah. There's two different things, but it's in the it's under it's kind of under the same umbrella of what I'm talking about. It's not jail time. It's just a fine. Somebody got to look into it, and then if they if you know what I'm saying, yeah. So glad you got that straight up. Hope you had an understanding now. Before I go on to the next point, goddamn, of the dude practice that type of shit on Umar, talking about it lied about some details of the land or whatever, right? Umar had the money. Mm -hmm. This is all according, you know, to Umar claim. He said maybe if he didn't have the money, then he didn't have the money. Whatever, right? I'm just saying this is where I'm criticizing him. If that dude did that, he said he had every intention to sue that person for doing that. Sue that person and that company. Mm -hmm. And it slipped his mind or he didn't have time, is what he said. He didn't have time, right? That mm -hmm. Precedent that would if if you was right that that dude discriminated you against you and you didn't take it to court, nigga, you missed the whole fucking point. Not a school, that, a, hold on, a school is not infrastructure. One school is not infrastructure. That's just a blueprint like Dion left. 
Like now we need more of those schools, more of those schools, more of those schools before it becomes an infrastructure. But you know what is infrastructure? One case. Roe v. Wade. You know what I'm saying? Like it all it takes is one case to be adjudicated a certain way and it goes on as a law from then on forth. If, if you can find that your situation properly matches that case. So the fact that he like, so if he would have went through that case, got um, won the case from now on, that would help every other black person buy a business property or crack down on people who are being racist when it comes to business practices and realty practices. Right. Yeah. That is a precedent that would have been set. And he just brushed it off like, oh, well, I didn't have time for it. Nigga, this is the whole point. That's just like, that. look, building a school is something you should be doing, but that's just a, a idle thing. That's like the First Amendment auditor out there at the, uh, at the, uh, at the uh, post office, right? That in itself is a practice of what you can do constitutionally, but it doesn't change anything. It's not going to teach anybody nothing necessarily. But what it does do is provide the opportunity for somebody to jump stupid and then you educate them there. Oh, you're not supposed to have that camera. Well, watch this. I bet you I am. Let's get the police here. Boom, boom, boom. And now that person is educated, right? Just like him going about the school thing. He's going to get a school that's fine. That's not educating anybody necessarily on, or it's not changing any, any uh, racial rifts in our society or economics. But it gives the ability for somebody to jump stupid and do some racist shit like not give me this property because I'm black. Now I have the ability to preach and teach legally. And that's what it's supposed to all be about. Nigga, you had the chance to pull the trigger and you didn't pull the trigger. So what the fuck is the point of it? Was it about the money for the school or are you really trying to make change? If you're really trying to make change, you take this shit to the motherfucking Supreme Court if you have to. And you make sure that this precedent is set because they didn't sell you this business property because you was black. That's what's going to help all of us going forward in the future. Even after you die, this school can, can bankrupt, nigga. That precedent can't bankrupt. And, and ain't that the whole purpose why he he's this whole black racist doctor, activist, whatever, is for the cause? I was like, dude, that, that was the cause. That was... That's what you've been talking about. The That's main you thing you can get it. And you walked away from it. Had the opportunity to get something in legal writing court adjudicated, nigga. Legislation. That would have made legislation. You feel me? And he brushed that shit off because he too busy trying to get these donations for the school. Nigga, you got me fucked up, bro. You know what the you know, you know what the fuck going on, bro. Like, yeah, it's for the school, but nigga. You, you ain't got no job, nigga. I'm sure you don't. Like, <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? Like, where the money coming from, nigga? Like, he probably got yeah. some some type of job, but not to. And I ain't saying he flashy or nothing like that. He not. He definitely not that. But mm-hmm. some of this, do, some of this. See, you you buying some stakes for some of this donation money, nigga? Let's keep it real. Let's keep. You know what I mean? Let's keep it 100, bro. Like, come on, bro. You know what the fucking deal? You know what the fuck going on? You better watch out. Hit like before he ended up like that pass up in Brooklyn, or was it Bronx? I nah, nah. That's why. I, that's why I specifically said I know he not flashy. Like he ain't doing it like that, bro. He ain't. He ain't doing. He ain't doing it to where I'd be like, nigga, you a disgrace. No, he trying. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, keep it a hundred. You you spending some of the money, which which all I'm saying is that's not the whole main goal. That's not the strongest thing you can do is make the school. He's made that the strongest thing he can do. No, nigga, the precedent that could have been set by suing that motherfucker is the, is the strongest move that could have been made. Now, unless your ass really didn't have the money and you just lying, you feel me? That's the only other explanation why you would not hit that, that motherfucking... 88 mile fastball right down the middle, right in your motherfucking bread basket, nigga. Like, ain't no way you ain't supposed to hit that shit out the park. Why did you not? Is you lying? Did you not really have the money? See, what probably ended up happening is he didn't have all the money and somebody came with all the money and the dude was like, fuck it. That's what happened. That's likely what happened, Miguel. Cause he he was talking about uh around this same time he had like half the money and nigga and when he was talking to the black dude that was trying to get in the property. He had half the money, but uh, the black dude didn't want to didn't want to work with him with that shit. 
You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, like it's and right. It's right to call it. bullshit on Umar to a degree, because that nigga is that nigga got a, a certain degree of bullshit in his system, for sure. Because that, that's common a lot, especially now in real estate. They be like, man, look, it's two hundred thousand. I got hundred and fifty right now. I'll give you the other fifty later. Especially down here. In if you talking about businesses, if you talking about business properties, hell yeah. And then somebody come down here with, no, nah, man, fuck that. They, they give you 150 right now. I give you 250 right now. <laughs> right. Yeah, hold up. I was only asking for 200, but all right, I'll take it. <laughs> you heard uh you heard his uh Black Panther breakdown? Ah, uh, man, I wanted to, but. He I, right. He right, bro. I was, nigga. I, nigga why, I, because it was, it was made by a white dude? <laughs> I thought it was a black dude. Oh, you're the talking about Steven? That, uh, no, the, the the director of Black Dude, Ryan Coogler. No, no, the dude that made Black Panther. You talking about? You talking about Marvel? The, the the creator of Marvel, uh, Stan Lee. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like Stan Lee did that. Low key to honor. No, 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 no. What he? That's why I hate that nigga. They can't just be like, oh, he white. No, that's so, not what he's talking about, bro. He not talk. He not talking about that at all, bro. Ah. Uh, you talking uh, about okay. the the fact that it's all women, and now it's women taking over. What do you think be going like? The the attack on black masculinity is at full blast. You feel me? Oh, I, I ain't seen the new one. So the new it don't one matter about the new one. In the first one, it's mostly bitches. Where's the niggas? Well, because that I mean, look, that that's where Felipe get the whole I'm the I'm the lion. They're the lionesses. The bitches was actually the one doing the work. That's what. That's yeah, what but you don't have an example of strong black men. Potent throughout that bitch. The nigga that was from America, uh, Ryan, Ryan, uh, not Ryan, uh, Michael B. Jordan, he disrespects African culture and he's looked at as like a, a, a thug, you know what I mean, down there, right? Yeah. That's what he's saying. He's saying, like, bro, like now T'Challa gone in the second one and his little sister got to step up and it's all bitches. And then the underwater, bro, you got to listen to it. I got to, bro, the underwater Mexicans, the underwater Mexicans. Beat the shit up, cause that, cause that's where I, I didn't read this in the comics. I didn't notice in the comics that the vibranium was also in the water with the Mexicans. I didn't know that shit. I thought we had all the vibranium, and if and if that shit ain't in the comic books, then it's a huge fire. Let's see, hold on, man. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send a DJ Academics version of that shit to you. That I know they were talking a lot about the hand signals that the Mexican do. The they were like actual. It's just. Aztec it's just really the fucking idea, bro, that this is Black Panther. Why do we get our ass beat in this hole? Like, why do we get our ass beat in this hole, bro? Like, what the fuck going on? Uh, so they got beat by that dude. Well, because he wasn't, I heard that he wasn't even like, I heard he was kind of like Killmonger, too, where he's not really a bad guy, but he is a bad guy. Right. we McGill, throw the story out of your mind. Throw the Marvel story out of your mind and look at it as just a one-off that you don't want black people to be masculine men. You don't want, you feel me? Like, the point of the thing is we'll give every other race some power because we can deport every other race. We can find a reason to deport the ass. There's a country, there's a country that you came from it's a country that's just a few generations ago. Just a few generations ago. There's a country that you came from. There's no country a few generations ago that we came from. We Americans, nigga. Like, you have to go back 10, 20 generations to get me back to Africa, which means there's no home for me there because they've already raped Africa and colonized the shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, we can we can make a way for Asian, uh, your mom and dad, we can get your ass out of here, nigga. Maybe not you. You was born here, McGill, but we can get your daddy out of here. You feel me? But he's still going to be an American. <laughs> How? 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 Huh? Was your daddy born here? Because the Americas is the United States, Mexico, all the way down to. Oh, nigga, you talking? No, you're not talking about United States of America, nigga. Yeah, you talking about America? Oh man. well, you can. All right, well, you can live in America. You can live anywhere in America. In that case, nigga, take your ass to South America, nigga. If you want to, but not this America, bitch. If you want to, if you wanna, take take it. All right, nigga, play that shit with the white people. They're gonna take your smart ass right to Mexico. All right, well, there's a bunch of dumb dumb ass Mexicans down there. Your smart ass, take them down there and educate their ass, nigga. You want to be smart and shit? 
motherfucker. Go be their leader. Go be their leader with your smart ass. Nigga, oh, well, you still be in America. Okay. Well, fine, then. We're not even deporting you. you still in America. Just go to the Mexico part of America. We're not even deporting you then. In that case, by that logic, get your ass on. Get your ass on, nigga. Yeah, how about that? All right, let's play the video. Let's play the video. It's like it's like nine minutes. Nothing gonna take a leak in the smoke break and roll this blunt. Uh, uh I'm a, yeah. Right now, I'm gonna take you out camera. I'm gonna call you on my phone. You know how that shit just switch over. So, I bet. They made the Wakandans look selfish, like they didn't care about American Africans. They made Killmonger the symbolic representation of the African-American alpha male who was conscious. They made him into a killer and a disrespecter of African culture. I thought the themes in Wakanda were horrible. There was no romance, no intimacy, no love, no black woman with a child. In the whole movie, Black Panther 1 was a political nightmare. Now let's go to Black Panther 2. It's oh, shit. And I'm going to keep this brief. <laughs> Let me say this. No disrespect to the Mexican community. No disrespect to the Mexican community. No disrespect to the Mexican community. You have a right to your own heroes and Mexican children have a right to see their heroes in their own image. I totally support the right of Mexican children to see heroes in their own image. So respect to the Mexican community. With that being said, I did not take my children to see Black Panther 2 so they can watch Mexican superheroes whip the shit out of Black superheroes. I'm going to say it again. And I don't care who don't like it. As far as I'm concerned, it was a total disgrace to watch a movie. Yo, did I I, I kind of said the same thing about Black Panther 2. I said, man, this shit is too pussy for me, bro. Where He's everything kidding. black children held sacred about the Wakandans <laughs> was shown to be possessed by the underwater Mexicans. No. <laughs> Vibranium was supposed to be native to Wakanda. Mm -hmm. But Ryan Coogler and whoever else wrote that horrible screenplay gave the underwater Mexicans Vibranium 2. Why are you calling them underwater the Mexicans? The underwater That's Mexicans. <laughs> ah, now I ain't gonna lie, that was crazy though. Like, nigga, how this whole time I thought only one place had vibranium. <laughs> now, underwater, Boy, they got hell of vibranium. And they plot. <laughs> Made them as strong as the Wakandans. Why would you build up Black Panther as strongly as you did in the first movie, only to turn around and Let tear the underwater the Mexicans down? The Mexicans were clearly stronger than the Africans in that movie. The Mexicans were whipping our ass the whole movie. <laughs> That's facts. That is facts. The Mexican leader, and I forget his name, he got more screen time in the movie than the Black Panther that did. That is facts. If this movie yeah. is about Black Panther, emphasis oh, on black. black, why are our children in the movie theater watching an underwater Mexican <laughs> hero get more screen time than the black hero Bro, in the movie? An underwater Mexican. <laughs> his his wait, expression wait, is. Bro, that shit is gold. The niggas is underwater Mexicans. Bro, the underwater Mexican. He not, he not even from Texas. He don't even know about about wetbacks. He that <laughs> nigga. <laughs> the underwater Mexicans is the most bro racist. racist, but you can say it because they was underwater Mexicans. <laughs> bro, that is bro, man. That shit is gold, bro. That's this is shit you can't make up, nigga. This is just golden.
That shit is brilliant. Goodness gracious, that shit is funny. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the underwater Mexicans, bro. Oh uh, my goodness. I, I wasn't no more good, bro. Uh, but why he say it like that? Like, uh, bro, that nigga know he funny, dog. Like, stop. Get it. No, come on, bro. You know that nigga know he funny, bro. Like, stop it. Like Kevin Samuels. That nigga know he be saying some funny shit, bro. Like, but be, they be staying serious. They, they'll be, rarely break character and, like, laugh at the shit that they saying. But they know good and goddamn well that shit is hilarious, bro. Oh, shit. Niggas be playing, bro. He, he spelled his name Samaj. He said, I like, man, I'm saying. That's what I was saying. <laughs> he in the back just. <laughs> Bro, that shit too goddamn funny. The but underwater I'm... Mexicans. Every time he kept saying that, I was like, oh, why, why you say it like that, bro? Bro. Because these bitch ass niggas ain't even above sea level. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. But that's why these niggas is underwater. <laughs> they suffer pressures. Bro, I don't know. I ain't seen the underwater mech nigga, I ain't seen it either. I just know what happened. But I, I feel like he he looking too much into it. Cause what, like yes, shit, there's a degree, that, yes, there's a degree of that. But because, at the same uh, time, he's right. Maybe if they didn't do it maliciously, it's still trash that they that it. You know what I'm saying? There's no black excellence in that bitch as far as a man goes. Yeah, they they need they needed a black leader, man. A man. <laughs> so it's easily corroboratable to say that there is some type of attack on black masculinity. Like I'm not one to you know what I mean when we come to the dress thing. I've explained to you there are certain artists who've had ideas where it requires them to be dressed, and they made that idea up from themselves. Nobody coerced them to do it. But at the same time, there's some dudes that get coerced to do it for a cheap buck. And again, with that motherfucking thing, it may not be because they are actively trying to destroy black masculinity. They don't have to be trying to do it, but it's still effectively doing that. You feel me? But, because, well, yeah, I mean, it needed a dude, but... I don't know, cause uh, to me, I would just keep thinking of how how it would have gone in the comic books. Even though it's not gonna be based on comics, there's many. There was many Black Panthers. I don't know if there was a chick Black Panther, but right. it gets yeah. passed down. So it does get passed. Why wouldn't be a possibility that there'd be a chick? Granted, it'd be better if there was a dude because right. Be but a there's a chick. The but there's a chick. She gets she gets to stay the Black Panther for the whole movie. And on top of that, we get beat up by the underwater Mexicans. You see what I'm saying? And on top of that, not only do we get beat up, we get beat up because of our only thing that made us special, vibranium. Now they have it too, and they got way more of it. What the fuck? Because look, I feel like that's part of the arc. Uh, Because, shit, okay, Black Panther 1, they build them up. Black Panther 2, you got to tear them down. down. To Black Panther 3, you build them back up. I was like, it's... Like, Nigga, I, feel like that's I they, understand that's the answer. formula. You think I don't, but I ain't <laughs> never seen nobody get their head beat like that. Hey, man. At least it was by Mexicans and not white Bro, <laughs> think about... Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I'm going to make a point of my own right here. And, and because, Hold on, hold like, on. If it was a prominent white dude who just died... The dude who always played Batman just died. You think they finna let them get their ass whooped in the next movie? No. No. Damn the storyline, bro. You're not finna get whooped by no underwater Mexicans after uh, Sean Connery just died. In the next 007, he ain't finna get his ass whooped. In the next Superman, he not finna get his ass whooped if the nigga that played Superman for, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Like, it's not gonna happen. They Like I'm saying, they may not be thinking about it to negatively affect us 
But if it was them, they would be thinking about it to positively affect them. Yeah, I, I mean, I just keep thinking about the storyline. <laughs> right, but I see that the storyline still comedy. deviates from that. You don't have to dwell on the sorriest part of the storyline. You can still, and they still at the same time deviate from the storyline wherever they want to. So why can't you deviate and make her Black Panther for the first half of the movie and then get a real nigga in that bitch? Cause, cause from I mean, I I don't know too much about the Black Panther lore, but whenever they started saying who the the bad guy was gonna be in this movie, they were like, yeah, like this dude's supposed to be like ass whooping, like ass whooping, ass whooping. <laughs> So that's why I didn't I didn't really freak out when people are like, man, they got their ass whooped. I was like, I mean, I kind of heard that's what was going to happen <laughs> whenever it was speculated that he was going to be the bad guy. So I I didn't really see it. When I said I, I didn't really see it like, oh. But do you see the difference if Boswick is still alive and it's him getting his ass whooped and he's staying strong yeah. throughout it? It's a different story, yeah. my nigga. Now there's a female. She get her ass whooped. Bye, 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 bye. There's just so many things compounded on it. Again, I'm not saying it's like, nefarious. I'm just saying like they, it's, it's negligent. They, I feel like they tried to rush to get a movie out, and they should have looked for a male lead role for that shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? They tried to pull out Black Panther because this dude died, but I'm like, Damn. I'm not saying what they should have did. I'm just saying I see Umar's point. That's all I'm saying. I'm not. I can't tell you how else they should have did it, other than make her. Black Panther for a little bit, and then move on, or or make a new Black Panther, whatever, Michael B. Jordan, whoever the fuck you want to, and then move on to her storyline where she becomes Black Panther for a little while. I don't know. I'm just saying, I see Umar's point, and I'm only adding that Umar thinks it's done on purpose to purposely keep us down. I'm saying it may not be that. It's just that there's nobody in our corner to represent us properly. Everett.